welcome back to the Spooky Colors channel. I hope you're all doing great today and thank you for watching or joining me if you're new. Um, I'm so happy to have you. Today we are starting our advent calendar, Easy Coloring Christmas Calendar Pages. It's by Sally Berry. I saw Sach and Deva did one. Me, you did one. So I got this one way in advanced. Um, because there's two of these. There's this one and then another one. Which I'm going to do the other one for next year. And then I'll probably pick up um, Sachin's and then May You for the following years. But our first page is number one. And it's a snow globe. So I think for all the numbers, I am going to use this Holly Stickles. Because it has red, gold, and green in it. And I think it would look beautiful. So we're just going to add this right now so it can dry while we finish the rest of the page. And this page won't be fully done because I, depending on how, um, oh shoot, um, you know what I should have done? I should have layered it. Should have put like a green on the base. I'm going to do that next time. Um, I was going to put a, a full thing of... What's it called? Glossy accents, but sometimes the glossy accents can distort the colors underneath, especially if it's pencils. So I definitely will have to use markers here, which I didn't even bring them over. I'll have to go quickly grab those. So let's just layer this on and then I'll go grab those. So I hope you're all having a good first of the December. How are you guys feeling? Is it summer or winter? Wherever you are, I know seasons are different for everyone. Um, it is like negative 20, even probably negative 25. Yesterday it was like negative 30 with the wind, so it was freezing. But guess who loves the cold? I do. I love the cold, so... I couldn't have my fan on last night because I was really worried that the snails were going to freeze. So, and if they get too cold, they actually, this is very interesting. They actually build like a hibernation, like really hard shield and they tuck themselves in. They build this really hard mucus shield over where they are, like where their body comes out and they'll hibernate if they're freezing. And you can't wake them up with warm water. You can't do any of that. You have to let them break through it themselves. Or they can actually, like, die of being in shock. So, yeah. But thank God my guys didn't, you know, that, that has never happened to them. So, you know, I put up their tank two degrees warmer sometimes on the colder nights. So, you know, God forbid if it gets colder and I'm sleeping, you know, it's still going to be humid and warm in there for them. So, yeah. Anyways, I am quickly going to go grab my markers and I'm going to be right back. You guys are going to get a bumpin. Or bumpin. Okay. Those are my all my Artex pencils I was using for the little elves. I don't want to tuck them away yet because... Eventually, I'm probably going to finish the, um, what's the word, y'all? The, um, I don't even know. My brain ain't working, y'all. My brain is gone right now. Um, you know what, guys? I think we're going to do something different instead of markers. Let's try something else. So I haven't used these guys, oh, I think since like the summer. So let's use them because we need to use them. Um, here, let me just put these guys up here for a second and I can show you guys um, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my Shuttle Art water-based gel crayons. You can wet them. They're good like... I, mean, I don't know if you call it a dupe, but it's a good, like, alternative for um, Neo Colors 2s, which I do have, um, but I do like these guys, too. So, this is what I've been talking about. I, I forget which video I talked about it in, but where I said I wasn't going to keep 
any coloring books that you know I enjoyed but you know I don't want to hoard around and keep them forever what I've been doing and this used to be my fish manual book and all their my fishes information until it, like you know they passed away and I didn't want to do fish keeping anymore um so I took everything out and then I did this so if you guys remember I finished this book Hawaii color by number black background cute stuff coloring book by color questopia and again I wasn't too fond of this book but I like I would like to like keep a page or a couple pages from a book but have it in like one portfolio because I think that's pretty neat if you can do that so basically what I did was this I cut off the cover and then I took out my favorite page from that I don't know what's maybe I don't know why there's a word in there but we'll see we'll figure it out anyway so yeah and then I'm going to do the same with my Alice Mills and my uh, Fantasy Girls. I'm not going to keep all of them. Um, same with my Animal Puzzles. I'm going to be doing the same thing here. Um, so, yeah. Just so, you know, whatever books I did finish, I can look back in, like, a little portfolio like this. Or I can get the 61. And just look like, okay, so I did have this book. I did do this book. And I did finish this book. So, you know, it's, it's a cute little, like, way to just, like still keep your books but not hoard them if that makes sense so I thought I'd just show you guys that quickly um because I thought that would be fun um one second y'all um okay okay um dance 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 did you guys see the new Wednesday Adams <gasps> You guys, I literally watched it in one day. I binged it. I'm obsessed with her. Like, she's bringing everything that I was as a kid and still am. And it's just funny. I actually posted a TikTok to my, um, what's it called? I posted a TikTok to my, um, to my, uh, to my Instagram on my stories and it's basically how like people really made fun of kids that were alternative and all that and you know they uh now they're obsessed with Wednesday and I just find that hilarious because it's true um okay sorry I just wanted to kind of get my computer set up so then I can upload a video after okay so I got some water brushes in here just gonna my desk is literally like full you guys so I didn't want to bring like four or three little two little packages of um what's the word called mm -hmm. of uh oh my lord I can't talk of markers over so I'm just picking out the colors. So I'm gonna do yellow star this for the tree. We need brown. Yes, this is a nice brown. Let's try the gold. Oh my goodness. It's gold, right? Yeah. This one looks more bronzy. Okay. And we'll figure out the rest. We will figure out the rest. Maybe I should grab a red or something. Yeah, let's grab a red. Okay. Well, let's just see how this goes, y'all. Just put this guy over here. We got our colors. Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to color first, and then I will go in with some water. Just with these colors first, and if I need to add any more colors, then I'll do that after I activate everything. Again, I'm just keeping mind of the stickles here. And these are so nice to work with. They're like so smooth, and they, like, like look at that. That was like barely any effort, y'all. So, it's awesome. Okay, sorry. I'm just trying to move you guys down a little bit more. There you go. Whew. So, 
um, I got a phone call from my daughter's teacher saying about my daughter's um, Christmas play. You know, um, when she was in kindergarten, they tried and, you know, she kind of, she just, it was too overwhelming, which, you know what, girl, I don't blame her because I'd be overwhelmed too. I ain't going to lie. So the teacher is leaving it up to me if I want to have her involved in it. Um, she said she'll be involved with it no matter what, at least for like rehearsing. It's just... It starts at like six or seven and it goes till nine at night. And my daughter has a very strict routine that she follows. And if she's out of her routine, she ain't happy. So yeah, I don't think this year it's going to work, but they're still going to have her because she, they're performing like their own little class one. So she's going to send me a video of her doing that. So I'm excited for her. So, you know, that's just the harder things for me that I, you know, it just makes me sad. But at the end of the day, she isn't going to be happy. And if, if it's going to be overwhelming, like, why would I put her through that, right? Like, it's just not worth it. It is not worth it. And then I have my son to worry about. So it's like, if I bring my son, who's also, if he isn't in bed by his certain time, he gets very grumpy. Like, I'm talking extremely grumpy. So, and he's always a happy boy. So, yeah. And the teacher even said, like, I know you have the other guy to worry, like, the other little one to worry about. So, oh, it's just, like, a whole thing. It just, I don't know. It kind of makes me sad. But the teacher was really cute. And she was like, well, she'll be with me till she graduates. So, one year, I'm sure she'll get up on on the stage for everyone I said yeah like if she can handle it you know one day we, she even said I'll work with her for next year or even the year after or the year after that until she feels comfy doing it so that's really sweet of her um you know and it's not just my daughter she had asked all the parents that like the ones with the kids that have a harder time so yeah so that was that and her teacher's really great, you guys, like, oh, okay, well, that's, I've never had that happen before, so, you know what, if I have a little, oh, I have a lighter, you guys, okay, do not try this at home, okay, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna melt it, seriously, please, no one, do not try this at home, unless you're an adult, don't do this, it's not, not safe. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Basically just trying to warm up the wax. Oh yeah, I warmed up that wax. Good. Okay. So basically it's like gluing it back together. Oh! <laughs> okay, you guys. I don't... Okay, wait. Maybe this will work better because this is... I think this color is just not having it. Maybe if I fuse them together, will it work? I don't know. You know what, you guys? I tried. I tried. Okay. Okay. So I'll save all this crayon because, you know me, I don't put anything to waste. Um, because that's literally the end of the crayon right there. So we will figure out a way to fix that. If you guys have any ideas, I think the like heat is a good idea, or maybe I can stick it back in there and like freeze it, but I don't know if that will wreck the crayon. So worst case, I put it in an empty palette and I just use it like that, like a watercolor basically. There's always ways, y'all. There's always ways. Oh, 
so um what are you guys doing for christmas do you guys have any plans yet or are you just getting like just getting all your christmas stuff ready um or starting to plan stuff for christmas what do you guys usually do i know i'm asking a lot of questions and what's one tradition that you guys do every year um, I love hearing what people do for transitions. I don't know why. I just, I really do love it. It's like, it's really cool to see what other families do and, and what, what everyone's holiday looks like compared to everyone else's. Okay. I'm just going to move this wax out of the way so then we don't have to worry about it. Just put it... In this little pouchy. Okay. Okay. Deal with that after. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. So, I'll tell you guys what we do. So, usually, I don't know if we're going to do it this year because I'll explain. But usually, it's me, my mom, and my brother. And on Mondays and Tuesdays, it used to be Wednesdays too, but I have my daughter um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in the morning. Um, again, this is all going to change, so uh, soon she'll be here, maybe full-time. I'm not too sure yet what's going on, but anyways. Um, so we would alternate. Well, we would pick... Um, we would each pick a movie each day, and then we would watch it. And my brother thought it was hilarious to um, put the old-fashioned Scrooge on. Like, I'm talking the black and white one because he knows how much I, I'm just, like, you know, I'm just not a fan of it. So he did that on purpose, and he was laughing his butt off. And my mom practically fell asleep because, first of all, you can't understand what they're saying because it's, like, really old English. And they're mumbling, and I mean, it's a classic. It is a classic, but I prefer the Jim Carrey one, but yeah. It, so he did that to me, and then I picked The Nightmare Before Christmas because they both didn't see it, which I'm sure my mom wasn't a fan of, but she said she's, ha she's happy that she saw it because she, she hears a lot of people talking about it, but she just never watched it. So she said, you know, I'm happy I finally saw it. And I said, well, that's good. You can cross that one off your bucket list. Okay, so I'm just taking this like silvery color. Okay, let's get the water brushes out. So yeah, so that's what we would do until Christmas, but because my brother's um, friend moved in with us, um, you know, I don't know how that's going to work or if we're even going to do that anymore. I'm okay if we don't do it, to be honest with you. Like, that's fine with me. Um, you know, it, does, it doesn't really matter to me. So, but yeah, so that's one thing that we always did. You guys are wondering, yes, I am wiping it off on this thing because it doesn't matter to me. And I don't have a spare piece of paper with me right now. Like, literally, I have books everywhere. Not, like, horribly everywhere, but I have books piled up, not put back on my shelf. And to be honest, I don't have any shelf space left for them. So, guess what we're going to be doing in December? Um, we're going to do a de-stash. Um, so yeah, and I was thinking there's eight kids in my daughter's classroom, including my daughter. So if there's any appropriate coloring books that I have for like, you know, kids or whatever, I might just put it with, um, for them for Christmas. And then I already talked to someone and I asked them like, you know, when I do my D stash, I'll send you a bunch of pictures and you know, whatever, um, 
ones you want. I can send them over for you. So hopefully she agrees because she's so sweet and she deserves that. I mean, if she doesn't want them, that's totally fine too. Like I have no issue with that. Um, but yeah, I like, I, and you know, I told her I'd pay for shipping and stuff like that. I like, like, I don't want to waste the books that I haven't showed love to if I'm not going to color in them or if they're not my style like I thought they would be. So why waste books when someone else could give them love, right? So that's also a good way to give back. Don't you guys forget, my spooky army, that once we hit 500 subbies, we're going to do a giveaway. And then whoever wins, um, they'll be entered. Like, I'm going to give away one Camellia Angel Cova book and one Disney book. But what I'm thinking of doing, instead of just, um, just buying them beforehand, I will, whoever wins... I will message them and explain, you know, this might take a, a little bit before the books get here and then I have to ship them out to you, whoever wins. Um, but I would like the winner to pick out the books that they want because they might already have books if I just pre-buy them, right? So um, I think that's a good way to do it. I do. I think that's a good way to do it. Then I know 100% the people who are ever getting it, whoever won, is going to be happy because they chose it, basically, you know? So, I think that's fun. That would be a fun way to do that. Okay. Sometimes these crayons can get a little funky looking. easy though if it's still wet you can kind of brush it off so that's super nice okay okay woo okay mm. oh I forgot to do the brown here maybe what I'll do just to pull everything together, whatever access, I'll put the brown down here. Just like that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank God. Whoo! <laughs> I'm like thinking these are like staining proof or stain like they're gonna stain right through but thank god they didn't so that's really nice oh okay I want to put a little word there and I do have my word stickers and I literally just had them do you guys think I could remember absolutely not you're there like literally you guys I don't know if it's just because of my stress like my brain is literally gone Okay, I want like a small word. <sighs> Great things take time. Would that work? I don't know. I'll do make a wish. It's a snow globe, so let's do that. Okay. Cute. Okay. Where's my brush? Sometimes these can get crummy. <gasps> Did you 
you guys see that? I just messed up my stickles. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank gosh. You guys see that? Thank God I put it on a little bit heavier. Because that was super easy just to remove like that. Okay. Okay. Um, the snowdrops, I'll do that eventually, and then I think I'm going to do right here some glossy accents just on the, like, shiny side. Um. Mm. I'm feeling, like, a blue background. I don't know. It's going to be a good choice, but I feel like... It is a good choice, so let's just see. I'm going to put these ones back so we don't lose them because I'm pretty sure that's how I lost my Prisma colors. Or they, like, I'm telling you, I ha I definitely have a ghost in my room because my doors open just randomly and it's not like I have wind or anything blowing through my um, room or anything. So I definitely think there's something here, at least in my room. I don't know about everyone else's, but well, that's fun. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. We could rich blue. We're going to do this type of blue. And then once it dries, y'all, I'll come back. Once I do the background. And once the background and the stickles are dry, I'll come back and we'll finish the rest. And that will be our first picture. Woohoo! If you guys are doing an advent color, I saw Colorful Life with like Anne's Colorful Life. Um, she's doing the Soch and Deva this year. And I'll never forget, I had my son, um, you know, by myself. I was so alone. No one understood me, and I'm not joking, my son would be up all the time, so I'd literally snuggle with him until he fell asleep, and then I would watch Anne's videos with my son on my chest, watching all her advent calendar videos that she posted. And you know, that she brought a lot of light, without even knowing, into my life, those, with her videos, with the advent calendar, and that's how I found her, and... I love Anne. Anne's such a sweetheart. Um, she also does Reborn Dolls, so if you guys are into that, you should definitely go check her out. She does do coloring videos. She's getting back into coloring, so that's super exciting. Oh, yeah. So definitely go check her out, and definitely go check out... Um, did I mention anyone else in here? I forget. I don't know. No, I don't think I did it in this one. I'm thinking of a different video. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is. My left side, whenever I sit down in, with, with my desk, my left side feels like it's encaving and it's just like a pain just shoots up into my ribs. Now, I don't know if that's because I've gained weight because uh, my medication. Literally, every single med I take is... Um, Plus, I have the IUD in, so that doesn't help with weight gain. Um, and I don't mind it. Like, it doesn't... I mean, sometimes it bugs me because I can't fit into some of my clothes that I absolutely adore. So, I donated them. But, you know, I'd rather have my brain chemically balanced than not. Because when it's not, you know, it's not good. So, always get help always tell people that like don't ever feel like you're not good enough to go get some mental health help um like just talk to your doctor you know okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the stickles dry and then I'll come back do the background um because if I hit water against those stickles they're gonna smear everywhere and that's gonna be messy and I don't want to just do half the page, so. 
that's what we'll do. We'll just wait for these stickles to dry. It shouldn't take them too long. I mean, for you guys, it's going to be like not even a second, so it doesn't really matter. But in case people are wondering why there's so many cuts, that's why. <laughs> And again, these are such a joy to color with. They glide very nicely. Again, a great other option um, if you wanted to try some Neo colors but can't afford it. Um, you know, Neos perform a little bit differently, but it's basically the same thing to me, at least. I mean, obviously quality is different, but it does the same thing, you know? And this streaks less, I find, than uh, Prismas, I mean, Prismas, uh, the Neos, so, you know. Oh, shoot, I did it again, y'all. See, that those stickles are so touchy. Oh, no. Hopefully that's good enough. Okay, that's as far as I'm going in because I really don't want to smudge it again. So, like I said, we'll be right back. One second for you guys. Probably like 20 minutes or 30 minutes for me for it to dry. Shouldn't take that long, but just to be extra cautious. But, yeah, that's that actually I see a stickle being weird I want to clean that up there we go looked weird okay anyways I will be right back guys I'll see you in a sec okay everyone while it's still drying I was cleaning up whoop, one of the corners in my room to just organize some stuff I found my bag of empties so I thought I would just go through it for you guys and then once it's fully dry, the stickles, then we'll come back and finish the page. But I might as well just show you guys. And I did miss a couple pages in my complete pages like I always do. But anyways, I thought we would go through all this first. So let me grab my tell trees, whatever ones I went through. Again, I went through a lot of markers, so I was really happy. So... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tell trees, and we have number 10, which is a nice red, CG05, which I'm going to miss, WG05, 174, GG1, 26, and 134. 134 is a beautiful pale yellow, if I'm correct. Um, I love that yellow. And then I also have a paint marker. It looks like there's paint in there, but there isn't. It's very dry and crusty. And then we went through some, we went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, um, seven, oh, hoo hoos. I went through both of my violas, so I have no viola left, so I'm really sad about that because this is a beautiful pale purple. I love it. And then I went through R2, which is my favorite red and all the reds, so that's finally gone, which I'm sad about. This is my favorite gray ever. Ever, out of all the sets that I have, even my Copics, this is CG00 Cool Gray 20. Okay, guys, sorry, my phone died. So, as I was saying, this gray focus camera is my favorite gray of Ohuhu. I seriously wish Ohuhu. Come on, focus. Um, would make replacements. Come on. What's going on here? Okay, my camera's being stupid. Anyways, and then I went through Frost Blue. Come on, what is going on? I think it's looking at my pencils, that's why. One second, y'all, I'm so sorry. Oops, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. And then I went through Frost Blue, which is B030, Good Blue, Pastel Peach, and then Light Hot Pink. So I thought I would include those for you guys just so you guys can see what I went through because I totally forgot to include this in my um, November finished pages. So we're still waiting for the stickles to dry. I might hit it with a heat gun 
if it's taking a little bit longer again or I could just wait so I'll see you guys soon <laughs> page I'm just gonna hold the camera I put glossy accent on everything except the trees and then I just went over top of the glossy accent with the stickles I don't know how that's gonna dry but we're gonna see so I literally can't touch this page or move it much because it's literally soaked right now so this is our finished page and tomorrow I'll show you this page all done and dried and if this washi tape lasts for all of all the pages, that would be great because it's really cute. It has like a tree, some ornaments, stars, and then it says, where is it? There's a patch that says Merry Christmas on it. You guys can see right here it says Merry Christmas. So, yeah. So there's our first one. First page done in our advent calendar so I'll see you guys tomorrow and you guys can see it fully dried and all that so I hope you guys enjoyed I had a lot of fun doing this and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye oh and I forgot to add please like and subscribe and comment and let me know all the questions that I asked about your traditions and all that and what you're planning to do or if you made plans yet leave that all down below and again please subscribe like and comment and again, I hope you guys join the spooky army. And with that being said, I hope you have a spootastic day or night wherever you are from in this crazy world that we call home. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>